Hello and a huge welcome to this video. I'm Scorpion from How To Do, and in this video, we will be learning how to use Ad Mob inside of Unity so that we can display uh, ads inside of a game. And one thing I want to tell you guys that if you are having any problem, like if you use Ad Mob and then you make your APK game, and then you when you play the game in your Android device, it you know stucks or crashes. Uh, or hangs or anything then you are at the right place because I'm gonna solve every problem that you're facing and this is the simple scene which I have so when we play the game and uh, this is the game uh, pretty dumb game but you know it is test game but there is a button right inside of uh, in, in the center of the scene and when we press this button the game will restart so when I open this up and when I restart the game it will gonna close so which means the game restarts every time I press this game uh, press this button alright and the thing is that I already have set up the ad mob so when I play the game you will see that it will display some dummy ads over here it's not gonna show it over here because it's unity and the ads that are gonna show are inside of the Android device and I'm gonna show it to you in a second uh, but as you can see it shows the dummy ad so it's gonna initialize it and then it's gonna create the banner ad and then load it and it's also also gonna uh, create the interstitial ad and also gonna load it all right there we go so it's gonna load the interstitial ad and what I want to do is I want to show the banner ad now so the banner ad will be shown over here and then when I restart my game the interstitial ad will be shown which is right over here so uh, when I restart the game it's gonna show the interstitial ad and then it's gonna go ahead and show the banner ad all right so that is pretty much it and I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you how it looks inside of the Android game so as you can see made with unity and there we go so that is the test ad as you can see it's right in the center and we can see it over there and we can see that uh, there is a button in the center and when I press that button the game will restart and there we go we have a full screen ad so I'm gonna say no thanks and there we go now our game has restarted with a new banner ad and I'm gonna go ahead and restart the again and we have a test uh, that full screen ad so everything is quite nicely working as you can see whenever we restart the game this banner ad will be shown and the uh, the full screen ad will be shown and the banner ad is always on the top so you can place it on the bottom uh, on top left top right it, it is your uh, choice but that is uh, the basic thing so let's see how to make it Okay, so that is how it looks inside of the Android game. So uh, now comes the part that how do we make it? So one thing what you should do is you should download this whole project. The link will be in the description box below. You should uh, so you should download these guys. So you can of course go ahead and download it from uh, you know externally or from the internet and go to Google mobile uh, ads and then play services and plugins and you will be able to do that but when you download this project this very project and I will just delete these guys or I will yeah I will let these guys over here so you will also find the ad manager script and a restart script I don't think so you will be needing it but I will still will be it still will be there all right uh, but the thing is that when you download it and when you open it up uh, the thing is that it is made on unity 2018.3.1 and that is needed all right if you want to make the uh, ad mob work then you need to use that uh, so go ahead and first download it and then when you open this scene it will say that uh, if, when you will open it up from uh, let me just quickly show you to you guys so the project name will be ad mob so when you open it up it will have these guys and when you go to assets and then you go to scenes and when you open it up like that it will ask you that um, it is uh, if you don't have unity 2018.3 or lesser than that then you uh, it will ask that uh, it is made on higher version and you have to update it or uh, you know uh, update your unity so you have to update your unity and make it 2018.3 or greater than that and when you open it up then what you need to do is you need to go to file build settings and switch to Android alright so just say switch and you will have this if you don't see it then what you have to do is you have to go to your unity uh, or, or you will find like I don't have iOS right now right so you can just go ahead and open download page and download it and then you will be able to see the Android so it's not a big deal because it's really easy to do that and yeah 
then the next thing is that you need to have Android SDK like in the preferences uh, preferences external tools you have this Android SDK over here so if you don't know how to set uh, set up your Android SDK then I will have a link in the description box below and let me just quickly show you guys how it looks like I have made a full video on that and how to solve all the problems you are facing from the Android SDK uh, where is it let me just quickly find it and show it to you guys it looks like this all right uh, this is my youtube channel so this is the unity sdk uh, solve all sdk errors and build android um, you can and the link will be in the description box below you say you can uh, see it from there all right so after you do that after you do that you will be able to find this thing and you will be able to set up everything but then what you need to do is you need to go to file build settings and then you have to go to player settings and you have to set up the package name all right so in my case the company name you, you can set the company name to anything in my case i have set it to company so you have to copy this name and put it inside the center of these dots com dot company so you the company name should be the same and then your product name it's in my case it's ad mob so you have to just drag it inside over here uh, paste uh, paste the name over here and then what you have to do is you have to say build and when you do that you have to just go ahead and say test anything and then save in my case it won't do anything because it's gonna detect the current SDK build tools and it's gonna start building alright uh, but in your case it may ask that if you want to update your Android SDK or not if it asks you then you should update your Android SDK because if you don't then you won't be able to uh, build the game properly and then you want to be able to see the ad mob ads all right so make sure when you build it you update the android sdk because the main problem that if you are not uh, seeing the ads is that uh, you uh, your android sdk is of uh, the version of the android sdk is not proper all right so you have to update the android sdk all right so in my case it's up to date as you can see over here so in your case if, if it's not up to date then you should update it and the the you know dialog box will be over here so there we go our uh, app apk is already done all right so let's go ahead and see what is inside of these scripts so when i i have two scripts one is add manager and one is restart so what you have to do is you have to go to your hierarchy and say right click create an empty object and you have to call it add manager i have already done that so add manager and then you have to drag and drop your add manager script on top of it like this i'm going to talk about the restart later but let's talk about the add manager first so i'm going to go ahead and open it up so this is the script that you will have when you download this project okay um, so let's see this is the app ID and in here what you have to do is you have to add the app ID that you will just make just a second I will tell you guys how to make it but you have to replace your app ID in here and then you have to uh, replace your banner ID over here and what is test device I'm gonna tell you guys uh, just a second and then you have to replace your interstitial ID in here. So what you can do is you can change the position of where your banner ad uh, uh, displays it. In my case, I have set to top left. You can set it to top. Uh, when you come over here, you have different options: so bottom, bottom left, bottom right, center, top, uh, top left, top right, and anywhere you want. But I, in my case, I have set it to top. You can set it to bottom. In many cases, it is set to bottom, and just like that. All right and then you go uh, then you have to go to your unity project and go ahead and say android uh, manifest this one is this is the one android manifest and then you have to drag it inside of your visual studio and drag it like that and it will open up the uh, android manifest file so you will have this and only thing you have to uh, you will have to change is you have to add the app id of your app id over here all right so what is app id what is banner id and what is interstitial id and what is the test device id uh, i'm gonna tell you guys everything so just a second Alright, so what you have to do is you have to Google and uh, go ahead and search for Google AdMob and then you have to sign in it, in it and you will be able to see this scene, alright, this screen. Um, so this is the Google AdMob and what you have to do is you have to go to apps and add a new app and have you published your Google App Store, uh, Google Play or App Store. Uh, in my case, I haven't so I am gonna say no. 
and uh, you can just uh, type in the name of your game in my case I'm gonna just test it out so I'm gonna say test and it's for Android and add alright so this is the Google app ID alright and you don't have to show it to anyone alright make sure you don't don't uh, let it uh, be shown to anyone in the, uh, so that uh, because because of that I'm not gonna show it to you guys because if anyone uses your uh, app ID then you may uh, your Google uh, ad mob account may be suspended alright so I'm gonna tell you guys why but okay so go ahead and create an ad and and I'm gonna go ahead and make the banner ad so I'm gonna go select ad format banner ad and ad name I'm gonna just say banner and just go ahead and say create ad and this will be my app ID and this will be my banner ad uh, ad ID alright so make sure you don't show it to anyone uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and create another ad unit and I'm gonna go ahead and add an interstitial ad and the example name will be interstitial interstitial and create the ad and I will have the uh, interstitial uh, ID alright and I'm gonna say done so I'm gonna go ahead and only make these two and make sure you don't uh, show it to anyone because you may get uh, banned or you may get in trouble when you someone else uses your app ID or banner ID or interstitial ID so then what you have to do is you have to just copy these banner IDs and interstitial ID and come back to over here and paste your banner ID over here and interstitial ID over here and then your app ID over here and again your app ID over here all right and when you do that you will have done uh, lots of things and the only thing now remaining is that you have to have a test device ID so how you do that is you have to go ahead and go to your Android device uh, and then what you have to do is you have to go ahead and go to Play Store Google Play Store and I don't uh, have my Android device now so I'm gonna say Google Play Store from here in Google Play and then you have to search ad mob test device ID and the one I used is this one so you just have to go ahead and download this one install it and then you will be able to see your app ID uh, your test device ID like this one so you have to just copy this one alright copy this whole thing this this whole thing and then you have to come back to your visual studio and paste your test device ID in here uh, one over here and one over here and that is that then you will be able to see the banner ad and interstitial ad however you won't be able to see the interstitial ad and I'm gonna tell you guys how will you be able to see the interstitial ad but you will be able to see the banner ads oops there we go alright uh, so that is it for the banner ad let's see how we will see the uh, interstitial ad okay so what I did is I have this restart script so let me just go ahead and open it up so this is a simple restart script and it does not has any start method or update method I just made a restart method and in which I just restart the level which means the load level and the scene manager gets the active scene which is the scene that is loaded and it's gonna reload that all right uh, and what it's gonna do is before reloading this scene it's gonna go ahead and say ad manager which is the ad manager this one dot instance instance is this where is it this instance and uh, dot instance and display inter ad uh, uh, display inter it is over here which shows the interstitial ad all right so wherever you want to show your interstitial ad you have to just go ahead and paste this whole uh, line just a simple ad manager dot instance dot display enter and then these two brackets and then semicolon and then you have to just do it that and you will be able to see the interstitial ad all right and like in my case I want to show it when the game restarts in your case it may be anything like when you hit something when you do something when you press something anything and if you want to show it when you press some button then you have to just say UI and a button where is it but hey what the 
<laughs> sorry here it is button and you will be able to see this kind of a button over here and then you have to do is you have to just add this plus sign and then you have to drag and drop your ad manager inside of here and make sure your ad manager has the restart script just like this one and then you have to go to button and then say function restart and the method that you just made in my case it's restart with this one alright so every time when I press this button this method will be called and it's gonna show the interstitial ad and then it's gonna reload the scene simple and that is that uh, hope you guys enjoyed my video and hope you guys uh, have solved uh, hope I hope I have solved every problem you were facing um, and one thing that is that when you upload your game the only thing that you will need is you will need I guess to down, uh, delete uh, this this whole thing like test device because you are not testing the device you are actually showing the device you are only gonna test the device because you don't want to get in trouble like you don't want your ad manager uh, you, you don't want your ad mob account to be banned right so in order to get um, be on safe side you just have to add this uh, syntax so if you are actually gonna upload the final apk version of your game on play store then you have to just delete these two guys test device test device and just delete that and you will be able to uh, upload your game on google play store and you will be able to show your uh, show your ads and that is that guys hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do and yeah that is it hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video till then be cool